the teaching course was about the architecture, the vascular supply of thalamus, the, all the functions. And my role was to discuss the consequences, the late consequences of uh, ischemic and hemorrhagic strokes. And in fact, the thalamus has a role in pain, in sleep and in cognition very relevant. And um, if some of the symptoms can uh, resolve very quickly in the acute stage, other symptoms uh, remain for months, like pain or like uh, memory uh, disturbances with the difficult in encoding new information and in learning that can stand over months or even years and can be very disruptive, um, namely if the patient is young and was previously a professional working, um, it can be difficult to come back to work with cognitive limitations. So that's the relevance of the, the teaching course. We had a session about the treatment of lacunar uh, syndromes uh, and of uh, the lesions of the stroke, discussing the antiplatelet, antiplatelet um, approach, that the dual antiplatelet approach is not very convincing concerning thalamus, uh, but there's a room for uh, thrombolysis. And thrombolysis, if the, the criteria are fulfilled, is of interest in the, the thalamus uh, ischemic lesions. Um, concerning hemorrhages, uh, the treatment is more conservative, uh, controlling hypertension and all the risk factors, and waiting that the time can lead to a recuperation over time. But as I said before, the most trouble is concerning cognitive um, impairment after a um, long time after the lesion of the thalamus because the patient can have difficulty in taking decisions, difficult in express himself using language, finding naming um, and uh, evoking uh, recent uh, information like for instance to be here he will be uh, he will have a difficult to remind uh, why he was here, what was he doing. And this is a long-standing complication of uh, thalamic um, uh, lesions. Um, I think we need more uh, studies uh, because uh, this is not a rare condition, but it is not that frequent. And probably um, multicentric studies following all these patients and describing all the consequences will be very important in the future.